The MMDA oversees the overall effort to contain the problem of waste disposal and management in Metro Manila. The Solid Waste Management Office provides policy guidelines in the transport and disposal of waste. Accredits vehicles that collect, transport, and dispose solid waste in designated disposal facilities prior to issuance of permit to dump. This ensures the roadworthiness of the collection trucks and availability of bells. Documents incoming collection equipment in designated disposal facilities. Measures volume of solid waste loaded into trucks for disposal. Monitors compliance of each collection truck with the conditions contained in the permit to dump. Coordinates conducts and facilitates monthly consultations with solid waste management officials of local government units or LGUs. Solid Waste Contractors Association of the Philippines or SWACA, whose members are composed of garbage haulers, as well as the operators of transfer and disposal facilities. The office also provides technical assistance to the LGUs in the design and implementation of their programs when needed. Conducts seminar workshops and training programs and holds one-on-one -on -one meetings with solid waste management officials of LGUs. Republic Act 7924 is the legal basis for the MMDA to implement this mandate. The law provides for the systematic and efficient disposal and management of solid waste in Metro Manila. It authorizes the establishment and operation of sanitary landfills, while LGUs, as provided for under the Local Government Code of 1991, are responsible for collecting solid waste in their respective areas of jurisdiction. It also provides the implementation of recycling programs to reduce the volume of waste for disposal. Given Metro Manila's solid waste generation of 10.7 million cubic meters in 2006 and 11.1 million cubic meters in 2007, the MMDA assures disposal space for 70% of the total waste generated every day in the metropolis. In 2006, the disposal rate was 89% of the targeted volume. The transport of waste to the final disposal facilities is a major concern in solid waste management. LGU contractors use appropriate equipment. Republic Act 9003 mandates the LGUs to divert at least 25% of waste by 2006. Marikina, Quezon City, San Juan, and Malabon have exceeded this target. However, the overall diversion rate of Metro Manila was 22.6%. For 2007, the diversion target is 26%. The MMDA has designated three disposal facilities. Two sanitary landfills in Tansa Navotas and Montalban Rizal, and one controlled disposal facility in Payatas, Quezon City. The Montalban Sanitary Landfill receives solid waste from Makati, Pasay, San Juan, Mandaluyong, Pateros, Pasig, Marikina, Caloocan, and Taguig. The Tanza Sanitary Landfill is designated to accept solid waste from Manila, Navotas, and Malabon. Quezon City uses the control disposal facility in Payatas. Valenzuela, Las Piñas, Muntinlupa, and Paranaque use other controlled disposal facilities. The Solid Waste Management Office documents the quality of solid waste delivered to the designated disposal facilities. It also monitors the efficient operation of the facilities. In each facility, the use of appropriate equipment and skilled manpower ensure proper and sanitary disposal of solid waste. An efficient solid waste management program is a crucial factor to the development of a vibrant, progressive, and ideal metropolis. Everyone is enjoined to participate in this effort. MMDA, working for a Guapong Metro.